Go ahead. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. As we gather today, we celebrate this wonderful liturgy in which we're going to take a moment and we're going to examine how we love God and our neighbor. neighbor. Let us call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God the Father's right hand who intercedes for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. And let us pray. Pour your grace into our hearts, we pray, O Lord, that we may be constantly drawn away from unruly desires and obey by your own gift the heavenly teaching that you give us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. You have collapsed through your guilt. Take with you words and return to the Lord. Say to him, Forgive all iniquity and receive what is good, that we may render as offerings the bullocks from our stalls. Assyria will not save us, nor shall we have horses to mount. We shall say no more, Our God, to the work of our hands, for in you the orphan finds compassion. I will heal their defection, says the Lord. I will love them freely, for my wrath is turned away from them. I will be like the dew for Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the Lebanon cedar and put forth his roots. His splendor shall be like the olive tree and his fragrance like the Lebanon cedar. Again they shall dwell in his shade and raise grain. They shall blossom like the vine and his fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, what more has he to do with idols? I have humbled him, but I will prosper him. I am like a verdant cypress tree. Because of me, you bear fruit. Let him be, let, let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent know them. Straight are the paths of the Lord. In them the just walk, but sinners stumble in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. An unfamiliar speech I hear. I relieved his shoulder of the burden. His hands were freed from the basket. In distress you called, and I rescued you. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. Unseen I answered you in thunder. I tested you at the waters of Meribah. Hear my people, and I will admonish you. O Israel, will you not hear me? I am the Lord your God, Hear my voice. There shall be no strange God among you, nor shall you worship any alien God. I, the Lord, am your God, who led you forth from the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. If only my people would hear me, and Israel walk 
in my ways. I would feed them with the best of wheat, and with honey from the rock I would fill them. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Repent, says the Lord, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than this. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher. You are right in saying, He is one, and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself, is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he had answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We're challenged during this Lenten season to love one another. Jesus calls us to love, to love God with our whole being, but also to love our neighbor as ourselves. Two things, to love neighbor and to love yourself. I think that's really significant because sometimes what happens is we despise something that we see in the other that's really in us. To love your neighbor as yourself. So this is a time to embrace ourselves, to really call to mind what needs to be looked at in ourselves that we see in the other. And to heal this, because if we can love this, if we can love ourselves and love what we need to change and embrace that change, we can love the other a lot easier. The challenge is always, how do we go about doing that? Well, this is a moment, this Lenten journey that we're on is a moment in which we can really examine what do we need to change? What have I noticed in the other that really bothers me, that really kind of sets me off? Name it. Name it. And if you can name it, you're probably naming something in here that needs to be embraced or healed or changed. So let this Lenten season be a time to really name what needs to change in here so that we can love God more fully and the other as ourselves. Let us bring our prayers and our needs to the Lord and ask the Lord to hear us. I want to pray for Pope Francis and all church leaders during this time that we come together as a church and we pray for one another and be strengthened by God's presence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us also pray for all of our healthcare workers, all of our doctors and nurses, all of our EMTs, all of those who are assisting during this time, that the Lord will watch over them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who are infected, let us pray for those who are struggling with any sickness or illness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. I'm also very mindful of all those who are unemployed at this time. We want to keep them in prayer. 
and their families and those who are struggling to make ends meet. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And I also want to pray for all of our Catholic parishes throughout the Archdiocese of Milwaukee, as well as through the other archdioceses and dioceses, that we will be a stronger church through this moment. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And finally, let us remember anyone who has lost a loved one, for the deceased member, for the repose of that soul, but also for those family members who are missing that individual, that they will be comforted during this time, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, you know all that we need. Help us to love you fully and our neighbor as ourselves as we lift these prayers today and always. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received this bread that we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. Let it become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine that we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. Let it become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray now, my brothers and sisters, that my offering and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, we pray, Lord, on the offerings that we dedicate, that they may be pleasing in your sight and always be salutary for us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all of the angels and the saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present here in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine as they become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer and on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, and he said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Jesus. Jesus. 
In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and gave you thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples and he said, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross, to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. And so calling, so having called us to this table, Lord, confirm us in unity, so that together with Francis our Pope, Jerome, our Archbishop, with all the bishops, the priests, the deacons, and your entire people, as we walk your way of faith and hope, we may strive to bring joy and trust into the world. Remember our brothers and sisters, Tony Osbold, who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all who have died, and whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever, there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and the martyrs, and with all the saints, as we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to all of your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. Let us offer to one another a spiritual sign of peace. The Lord's peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to life everlasting.
and let us pray. May your strength be at work in us, O Lord, pervading our minds and bodies, that what we have received by participation in this sacrament may bring us the fullness of redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This Mass is ended. Let us go forth in peace and love to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day, everyone.